Folks, just look around you. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, our civilization is crumbling right in front of our eyes. We have become accustomed to soaring murder rates, mass shootings, extreme degeneracy throughout the entire entertainment industry, violent rioting in our streets, and severe corruption on all levels of government. To a certain extent, a lot of these things seem normal to many of us at this point. But the truth is, what we are experiencing is not even close to normal. We are literally watching our entire society slowly but surely going down the tubes, and it is heartbreaking to watch. We are seeing lawlessness exploding worldwide, paving the way for the man of lawlessness, the future Antichrist, who is going to fix all the problems, or Mr. Fix-It-All, as I like to call him. I was at work today, and some coworkers were talking about what's going on right now in Chicago and recent stories out of California. What I want to talk about today, it's a couple recent stories. This is just in the United States. I mean, it's pure craziness, but stories like this, it is happening all over the world, and time does not permit me to go over all the craziness happening on all over the world, but I want to focus on a couple recent stories just over the last few days here in the United States. This is a recent one. I don't know if you guys heard about this. Recently in from Fox News, they're calling it the teen takeover. So teen takeover terrorizes Chicago as hundreds of teenagers destroy property and attack tourists. I mean, some of the videos and pictures that are coming out from Chicago, it's insane, folks. I mean, hundreds of teenagers literally storm the streets of downtown Chicago, smashing car windows, attacking bystanders, and sending panicked tourists running from the sound of gunfire. I mean, so again, so go look at some of the videos and footage coming out of Chicago on what's going down there just over the last, it's been happening in Chicago for a while, but just over the last couple days, look at what these teenagers have been doing in Chicago. Now let's go to California. This is Justin recently from Fox News. California chaos. Huge mob ransacks gas station, steals thousands in products as cops left outnumbered. This is another crazy one. What you're, I'll share a little video with you here in a second. What you're going to see is an organized robbery attack by teenagers in Los Angeles. The young people are organizing on social media platforms and then literally raiding stores. Check this out. Tonight in Los Angeles. <laughs> Insanity. You know, that's there is so much happening right now in the United States, and not just in the United States, all over the world. But I just wanted to go over what currently happened and what's going on right now in Chicago. They're literally attacking, they were attacking tourists, people exploring the city. Um, and then we saw what I just showed you there, what, what just happened at Los Angeles. Just pure mayhem. Just teenagers and people running all over the store, stealing stuff, just causing a complete mess for enjoyment. Um, again, there is so much happening, not just in the United States, but all over the world. And instead of looking to God, society is going to turn to yet another politician who will offer promises of peace and solutions to the world's problems, but instead it will begin one of the most terrible times in all of world history. What we're watching right now, all the craziness, the soaring murder rates, the soaring rape rates, the violence, the lawlessness that is exploding all over the world, it is paving the way for the coming man of lawlessness, the future Antichrist. It's going to get a whole lot worse. But what we're seeing right now, make no mistake about it, the Bible said exactly what the last days would look like, and you're looking at it, folks. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. 
The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking. And it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. Um, you need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. And that lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Belief. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell is a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming, and he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me, and God bless you all.